Today I'm going to show you how to make a homemade box cutter like you would in prison. So you will need a highlighter, a cheap razor, disposable sort, a lighter, and the nail clippers. They are a very good tool, the nail clippers. And you might need some paper just so you don't cut yourself playing around with it. So here, what we've got to do is we take the razor apart, just try and pull off the top, cut this bit out, and then we'll pull it off the actual razor bit. So you see how that connects there? If you hold it down and just snap it, like this, just pull it off, it'll come off, like so. Now, we've got to cut around the edges to get off the rest. So you just do that with your nail clippers like so. As you're pulling it off, you might see these circles, which are right there. You can see those little knobs. They actually hold the front and the back of the nail clippers together. So if you can remove those knobs, then you can pull it out, which you can either try and remove them from the front or the back. Just whichever way is easier. Some different brands are different, but yeah, usually most of them have four knobs holding it together. Now as you can see I've removed all the knobs, I ended up removing them from the front. So now that they're off, we should be able to try and get the front, the actual razor blades, off of the thing. So you can try and use this bit, which sometimes it can get in there to lift up the edge. The razor blade that you want is the second one, because the first one's always a little bit too short and you don't want a little flimsy one, you want the one that's going to be nice and snug in there. So you've got to get in under here. You might have to pull the bits off. Be careful not to cut yourself. You should hold it with paper if you want. Because they do slice shut. That's the point of them. They're made to cut. So here we go. I've pulled the top one off. And the top one doesn't really matter. You know, you can bend it, do whatever. Just try and get it off without cutting yourself. Now that's off. We're going to try and remove the second one nicely and gently. There's a little thing in between them too. Which you can pull off. Now here we go, there's the second one. So now that's off, put that to the side and get out your highlighter. See the little green bit, the ink bit? You need to pull that out, which you don't really need nail clippers to do. You can either cut it, smash it in, pull it out. It's the best ways to pull it out. Just grab it with your fingers and wiggle it nice and firmly. And as you see, it'll just pop out of there. Well, slide pop. There it is. Coming out. 
Yeah, that's it. We need to get the razor blade in. So. Yeah. So here's the razor blade. Try and push it in. Sometimes they fit, sometimes they don't. Depends on the brand. And this one doesn't quite fit. Sometimes you can just squash them in. But this one just doesn't want to go in. So all we're going to have to do is we're going to have to bend it. So get out your paper, because bending it can hurt you. And try and bend it inside the paper. Which isn't quite working out for me. So we're going to change tools. We're going to go to the nail clippers. Hold it with the nail clippers in the middle. Get the piece of paper. Push firmly against it till it bends. And as you can see, it's got a bend in it. See that bend? That's all you need. You don't need a massive bend, just enough so you can slide it in. So slide it in, push it in until it's nice and firm. Yep. Now we're going to want to melt it in there so it can't move, because you do not want it to fall out. So just roll it around, because you don't want to set this on fire. You just want to melt it so you get it nice and soft. So you can just squash it together. And just roll it around, melt all around the edges. As you can see, it's starting to form shape. See? Look at that. So now we just test it. Try and cut a piece of paper and see if it moves. And that moved. That didn't cut the piece of paper. The razor blade actually moved. So what we need to do now... Let's make sure that's all good. Now we melt it again. Make sure it's melted nice and tight to the razor blade. So the razor blade's melted in there. And squash it together. Just a side note too, don't try and test it while it's still hot because it will move and break the mould. It'll let it cool down a little bit to test it. There we go. Now see, this is good because it's nice, quick and easy. It only takes you 15 minutes to make. When you need to use it, you can just make it and throw it out afterwards. So here we go, I'm testing it. It feels nice and sturdy. I'll see if it cuts a piece of paper. And yep, slice straight through it. Now this is really dangerous. You can just slice open someone's face like no tomorrow. And there you have it. Homemade box cutter. Prison style. Same way you make it in jail.